Think about what it is you're asking and saying I want. Like the next time that you really find yourself dreaming and, and, and say it would be so great if I had this. It would be so great if I had that. Stop, take a second and say to yourself, you know what, it would be great, but am I willing to pay the price to get it? So I wanna have some real talk with y'all today because so often we speak without really thinking and really taking into consideration exactly what we're saying. You know, people, us as human beings, we have a way of really complicating things that just shouldn't be that complicated. We have a way of asking for things, but not really thinking about what it takes to achieve exactly what it is that we're asking for. You know, I sit and I listen and I hear people talk all day, every day about how they want more. I want more money. I want more, you know, responsibility. I want to move up in the company. I want to start my own business. I want like, like, and here's the deal, right? I want you to want, you know, life is plentiful. It is abundant. There is so much out there. Life is just, it's beautiful. There's so much out there for us to want and to acquire and to achieve, I want you to want. But the next time that you sit and you, you, you're telling yourself and, and, and you're really trying to convince yourself of, I want this and I want that, I want you to really think, am I willing to pay the price to get it? Because at the end of the day, I don't care what it is on planet Earth. Trust me when I tell you, whether you are paying in, in, in time or in money, you must pay the price. I don't care what it is that you're going after. You know, whether it's material things, whether it's your dreams, whatever, you're going to pay for it. But so often people don't take into consideration what the cost is. You want to move up in your company, you want more responsibility, you want to earn six figures, seven figures, eight figures, okay, no problem. Are you willing to be the one that is getting the 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. phone calls? Are you the one that is, that is willing to jump on planes, trains, and automobiles? Are you willing to be the one that sees your family for, for, for an hour or two a night? Come home and, and your kids asleep, your wife is exhausted, and or, or your husband's exhausted. Are you the one willing to, to be dealing with now? You know, you're out there and you're doing your thing, you're getting your paper, everybody's looking at you as you the woman and you the man but when you come home now you're strangers to your own family you know you where's once upon a time you had a close relationship with your kids and your wife but they've gotten so used to you not being there you walk in the house and it's, it's like they moved on like 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 they got their own routine you don't even fit in the mix no more are you willing to pay that cost because if you're not maybe you know and, and I want people to be to, to go out there and to achieve and to really go after their dreams. But I want you to be realistic because there are sacrifices that you must make. There are sacrifices that, you know, do, do you ever stop and think to yourself why so many uber successful people have been divorced at least one time? You know, many of them have been divorced multiple times, but it, it's, you know, most of them have been divorced at least one time. And for those who have stayed together and kept their marriages intact and really made these fortunes and they still have that same woman or that same man by, them side, by their side, kudos to you. But for the most part, there is somewhere along that journey toward whatever your success is, there's gonna have to be a decision that is made. And sometimes it's not even gonna be made by you. The other person is gonna be like, look, I'm all with it, go after your dreams, but this is not what I signed up for. I want a wife, I want a husband, and you are a roommate. Are you willing to pay that price? Are you willing, you know, and this just doesn't come in, in, in areas of business, you know, it, it, 
you want to be the perfect spouse? You want to be the perfect mother or father to your kids? Well, guess what? You're going to pay in time. Maybe you can't do overtime every night because you have to be home when those kids get home, doing their homework with them, making sure that you are at their games on the weekend. You know, as kids grow, more time is coming out of your life. You want to be father of the year? No problem. It is a wonderful thing to be. You want to be that mother that your kids always remember as the one that was sitting in the stands or right there on the sidelines that when I came home, I had milk and cookies waiting for me and she made dinner and did my homework with me. That's great. But there's a price that is going to be paid for that because you can't be out in those streets hustling. You can't be the one that is doing the 12, 13, 14 hours at the job every day. It's impossible. Some got to give. Which one's it going to be? And if you choose your family, if you choose those kids, that's a wonderful thing. It is. But that career, it might have to be deferred. It might be because for the next 18 years, those kids, they require everything. Same thing. You know, people get into these relationships with one another and they want to be the perfect spouse. They, but they can't. They can't stop looking and, and everything that that walk by. They like. You know, it was all good in the beginning of that relationship, but over time, you can't stop looking and seeing what else is out. Are you willing to make the sacrifice? Like, I love this person that much. I'm not even looking. Like, like you know, you going to your job and you spending those eight hours at the job and y'all's getting cool at the job. And, 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 and after work, you know, somebody want to go for drinks and it, it starts to turn into a little bit more. Are you willing to know I am married? No, I am in a committed relationship. Because so many people, you, so many people are, they, they think that this is what they want, but they can't keep their thing in their pants. Think about what it is you're asking and saying, I want. Like the next time that you really find yourself dreaming and, and, and say, it would be so great if I had this. It would be so great if I had that. Stop, take a second and say to yourself, you know what, it would be great, but am I willing to pay the price to get it? Think about it. Peace and love. Make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.